Well, Willie, you're obviously going on this fantastic 100-mile trek across the Sahara Desert. Tell us what it's a need for and how much you're, you're looking forward to this challenge. Well, five years ago, I lost my lovely daughter, Michelle. My wife and I lost our daughter. And uh, when, my, when Michelle was quite, quite ill, she unselfishly formed the, the Michelle Henderson Cervical Cancer Trust and asked me if she never made it, would I keep it going for her? So this is another trek that I'm going to be doing. Um, thanks to the generosity of people over the period of time since we've lost her and the other treks, raised nearly a quarter million pound, um, which provides, which has provided equipment for nearly six hospitals in Scotland um, in the gynaecology department. And this is another, this is another big challenge, but it's but but it's for a, a great cause. You mentioned the, the fantastic sum of, of money that you've raised over the year, but how much is this about raising awareness as well? Well, th this this is a, a, a terrible disease that that, that, that that women can fall fall into, and um, you know the fact that this is another um, opportunity for to raise awareness. Um, is a great thing so women can really understand just how important it is for them to go for their smear test. Um, lots of women uh, don't go. One of the reasons, one of the main reasons is that uh, uh, they feel it would cause them embarrassment. And I've, uh, and I've tried to tell them that, you know, embarrassment won't kill you, but, but, but cervical cancer can and will. Tell us about some of the, the other challenges and, and ways you've, you've raised money over, over the years. Well, I have did the, the Indonesia, Indonesian jungle, um, went up Krakatoa, the volcano. Um, I've did the Namibia desert, arguably the highest sand dunes in the world. Um, I've did the Gobi desert for, for, for other, uh, another charity. So um, life's, life in a lot of ways has been really good to me. And um, I just find that it's nice at my age that I'm able to give a a little bit back to life. Absolutely, and the, the challenge isn't until January, but how's your, your training coming along already? Well, all these treks, you know, um, the most important thing about it is, is is being fit. So I've already started training two months ago for this trek, and, and probably by the time the trek comes along, I, I, I'll have trained maybe a, a thousand miles um, to get myself fit. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting any younger now, and... Um, so the fitter I am, the better it is.